In today's fierce political landscape, fear, misinformation, and trust are at the heart of every debate, capturing the public's attention and stirring deep emotions. The uproar following SNL actor Kenan Thompson's remarks underscores a profound anxiety about fear-based tactics that seem to manipulate public behavior. But what truly resonates with people are leaders who stand tall, prioritizing truth, transparency, and offering real solutions to the urgent challenges our nation faces. What's up, DNC? All right. Y'all remember this big old book from before? When Colorado Governor Jared Polis ripped the page out of it? This is Project 2025, the Republican blueprint for a second Trump term. It is a, yeah, yeah, boo. <laughs> it is a real document that you can read for yourself at KamalaHarris.com forward slash Project 2025. You ever seen a document that could kill a small animal and democracy at the same time? Here it is. You know how when you download an app and there are hundreds of pages there that you don't read, it's just the terms and conditions, and you just click agree, right? Well, these are the terms and conditions of a second Trump presidency. You vote for him, you vote for all of this. Let's take a look. All right. Yet there's a burning frustration among those who view Thompson's involvement at the DNC as a blatant act of fear-mongering and spreading falsehoods. The public's concern seems amplified by the reference to Project 2025, perceived as a calculated move to distort Donald Trump's intentions and policies, especially since he has openly denounced any ties to the project. This sense of betrayal and dishonesty feeds into the conservative outcry against what they see as the media's manipulation of information. The growing belief that the DNC is wielding scare tactics to sway voters is seen as more of an attack on Donald Trump than an earnest effort to solve the country's real problems.